hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video session i'll discuss external stored procedure that writes to a data queue so basically going to create a to create a stored procedure that writes data to a data queue so data queue is an object which is used to uh, send or receive data between the program so basically the asynchronous uh, mode of data communication took place here uh, using data queue in as400 so let's uh, create a stored procedure so let me show you how we can create a stored procedure to write a data queue so first of all we need a program uh, which actually writes uh, data to the data queue so this is the source which write the data to the data queue let me show you that so here you can see i'm using this api queue send dta queue so this api is used in ibmi to uh, send the data to the data queue so this api has several parameters queue name queue name data queue library data queue data length and data buffer so this is the data which uh, we want to send to the data queue and this is the length of the data which we are sending to a data queue we need to provide the name of the data queue and the library so these are all four parameters which we want which we need to send to the api queue send dta queue uh, to send the data to the data queue now we are writing this program so we are accepting three parameters so that the thing uh, the program works dynamically uh, whatever data queue or library name or data we pass the data will be sent to that data queue now you can see i am taking input uh, as data queue name data queue library and the data which you want to send so let's say uh, for now i am sending a 20 character data to the data queue some data queue which we will be going to create so here you can see i am calling this api passing the name of uh, data queue library length of the data and the data and last record indicator set to all so let's compile this star none so this program is compiled successfully now we need some data queue so let me create a data queue create dta queue command is used to create a data queue let's create a data queue data queue my my current library and the type is standard here max length let's say i am keeping 5000 force no p4 just press enter and these are all other parameters let's create the test data so work object so the data queue of uh, type star dta queue in library this gets created let's do work with dta queue so here we can change the description just do f11 so you can see all these options here now this was the program uh, which is used to send the data queue so if i want to let's say send the data to the data queue what i'll do from this program i'm not writing stored procedure right now so i'm showing you how this program works just do strdbg ext pgm5 
just call this program xtpgm5 so this accepts three parameter so we need to pass them data queue name that is data queue one data queue library and the data so let's say i'm passing hello world Enter. So we received these values in the respective parameters. Now we are calling this data queue send data queue API to send the data to the data queue, and this is complete. So let me show you the data uh, which is there in the data queue. So we have this query that is a table function in qsys2 library that is data underscore q underscore entries so we are passing this basic information and we are getting the basic information here so um, the data queue name is data q1 and the library name is this so let me press enter so you can see i am getting uh, the first message which is present on the data queue so i used cast here just because uh, it returns a pointer uh, let me show you this that's why i use cast so if i call this program again and let's say change test data and let me show you this again so we have two records and the second message is test which is there on the data queue now just now we have seen that uh, we can directly call this program to write to the data queue but let's create a stored procedure over this an external stored procedure over this so what i'll do is i'll create a stored procedure so i need to execute the create procedure script there so which is uh, done using this rpg program here so i have this skill proc variable where i am create using the script create procedure this library dot write to data queue so the func uh, the stored procedure which i am creating is write to data queue uh, the input parameters are data queue name data queue library name and the data which we are passing or uh, which we are sending or writing to the data queue language is rpgle because our external program which we are going to call is in rpgle uh, language and a specific name is this uh, this is just to ensure that uh, the procedure name must be in our control system would not uh, create any specific name in such cases and it is basically uh, allows us to uh, delete or drop the external stored procedure or keep the consistency you can say uh, just because uh, we do not have a uh, same name specific uh, same specific name procedure uh, in our schema Multi so multiple uh, specific same specific name procedure cannot exist in the same schema but the same procedure can exist and external name is this so basically this is calling this program not deterministic so the result would be not deterministic so if i pass the same parameter every time uh, it would go and call that program and fetch the uh, latest results from the data key or uh, it will do the whatever i'm doing actually i'm writing so it will write the next record so basically uh, in case if it is fetching something it won't fetch uh, which is already there in the buffer no SQL because I'm not using any SQL here called a null input so if I pass null to the uh, stored procedure parameters this pro procedure will, would get called parameter style is general there are various parameter style which I can uh, use but I am using the normal parameter style that is general. I can use general as uh, with nulls or db2 or others or SQL and then I am doing the execute immediate to create the procedure. So let's 
create the tab which create tab which creates a stored procedure so this work object ext block 5 so this program gets created strdbg ext proc 5 Just set the big point at line number one and call this ext proc 5. So we have this script which will get executed and will create the stored procedure. So let's check the job log first. So you can see this write to data queue uh, procedure gets created. So we can uh, check in the catalog tables as well sys procs so we can check it with the routine name or either with the specific name so we can see this and this is calling this extpgm5 just check the sys params catalog as well and just use here the specific name so we have three entry because we have three input parameters data queue name, data queue library name and data and here we can see the length and the type of the data now we need to call this so either we can call it from the STSQL or we can pass the data queue name, library name and the um, data uh, so we we'll just do the same thing from the SQL RPGLE program so I have written this SQL RPGLE which is using the SQL call execute SQL then call this write to data queue is the stored procedure name and we are passing the parameters so parameters uh, which I am passing here is data queue 1 easy class 1 and the data let's say uh, here I am passing x y j just create this so we can see work object call proc 5 gets created successfully let's check so we have already two records in the data queue now let's debug this strdbg call proc 5 let's just enter and then we will do end debug first just set the back point at line number 1 call call proc 5 so we have this data queue data queue library and the data so this calls the program and populate and populates or writes the data in the data queue so we can see xyz again there in the data queue now let's call this again just do shift f10 before that I am changing some data manually using the in debug so data 2 
just do shift f10 shift f10 again and again so that you there, you are there in the program which is called externally and this will call this data queue send data queue api and this gets returned Just do end debug first. So you can see the next data which is written to the data queue. So this way uh, you can uh, write the data queue and uh, queue and uh, you can create a stored procedure that writes to a data queue basically. So that's all uh, uh, here in this demo. Thanks and have a nice time.